Hello, so today I want to do a picking assessment or a test of this ERA discus lock. Um, and this is a, you could consider it a independent test of a ERA product that isn't by the company itself or something like that. Or anyway, let's just have a look, see how easy or hard this could be to pick but it looks good so far anyway as a four pin core I would say it should have these five but anyway that's just me so the claims they have on here on their packaging is it's a security rated number eight it's bump resistant picking resistance and drilling resistance. Well, I would agree already with the drilling resistance just looking at this spinner plate and it actually is a spinner plate because it spins all the way around to prevent drilling so there's that's probably true and then we have picking resistance we'll see now bumping resistance against the four pinner I don't know uh, it also has a paracentric keyway so that will also help with anti-picking but uh, stainless steel lock body hardened steel shackle anti-bump anti-pick anti-drill cylinder lever locking mechanism and precision four pin brass cylinder eight out of ten ERA security rating that is and they just tell you to clean it with a propriety, proprietary lubricant, not oil. And applications, they say this is for, they say it's high security discus padlock. Yeah, physically, I think so, it could, could be considered high security, but not, I don't know about pick resistance or bump resistance. General security, for, I thought it was high security. General security for a wide range of applications. Home, office, factory, storefront entrances and gates, outdoor, indoor, storage. Pretty much everything, right? Which is true, I guess. Feels nice. It's also slightly different shape to some others. This like very slight difference in tapering around the edges. Anyway, let's get some tension on here. So get the the lock pick. And my lock pick of choice of course is the Sparrows hybrid, one of my favorites. And Well, I can only count about three pins, but I think there's four in there. So, question is, how will I go about tensioning this? Could try and tension off of the the pin side of the keyway, but. Uh, no, I think I'll try to tension it. Try to tension it over here. Might need a thicker one because that's slipped around. The core doesn't feel like it's sprung loaded. So that might make it easier actually for me to pick it. So, other than this awkward packaging, should be okay. Let's see now. Okay. Trying to get onto the fourth pin. Stupid packaging makes it a bit awkward. Now I would expect if it's anti-picked for there to be some 
security pins in there. But um, I haven't. felt any as of yet unless they are maybe serrated pins so if there's no spring loadedness on the core I should just lighten up on tension Just look for some feedback. Okay. Now, if this is truly anti bump, zipping and raking should not work very easily. Just saying. Anything about holding one of these? Is that's better? Is with this thing in the way? It's like being on a hosp, so I have to try and work around that as well. But they can make can make it a little bit awkward to pick around. Finding it hard to get underneath some of those pins with this restricted, not restricted keyway, but paracentric kiwi okay yeah this tension wrench is eating up the room in there trying to and then pick the pins it feels like serrated pins because I haven't felt any counter rotation or anything like that and this is the first time we've stuck a pick in there There are serrated pins. I'll try and pick for serrated pins. It's definitely putting up a fight for a four pinner, so that's good. Okay. I'm now trying to pick for serrated pins. I was expecting spools that's what I'm used to coming across on stock locks but it feels like this one has something else going on suspect I'm getting overset oversetting something I 
and this travels from the UK because that's where I think ERA are from they're owned by Asa Aboy sort of felt like a little bit of counter rotation on pin number two I am impressed so far by the pick resistance we have been given, but I think I'm getting closer now. There we go, got a bit of a full set there, so that's great. I'm impressed with the pick resistance so far. And if this was being attacked in the wild, I believe it would probably be more likely attacked with an angle grinder or saw because they would be faster than this anyway. A well a angle grinder would and it requires no skill. So I think this pick resistance appears to be pretty adequate. Our pretend hosp here is making this a bit awkward to hold as well. So if it's locked onto something, maybe maybe tougher to pick than if it wasn't. Okay. Can't quite get the last pin somehow. Just trying to lever off of the warding a bit or something. Probably pin one maybe. But the pick keeps slipping off pin one. Stupid. I think it's pin one, but I'm having a hard time setting them because the tip of that hybrid is round, so it slips off the. Got it though. Alright. So we did get there in the end. Just needed to be able to purchase the tip of the pick onto the end of that. So there it is, picked out of the packet. Neighborhood watch. Let's cable tie it in there. I'll get those stupid keys up afterwards. Unless I can find a plastic clippers. <laughs> Clip the plastic with, I should say. Mm. 
these. All right. Excuse me. There's our bitting. Stupid camera. Okay, so we had a low, high, low, high, which is not terrible for a, a padlock. Well, let's give the key a jiggle. It turns 90 degrees. And he does seem to be welded there. I think I, I prefer it when these locks have the the weld over here. Not all of them do, even the abuses don't always have a weld there, but I think that weld should be there, just like around here. And just looking at this, it's a quite significant gap, you can see. So again, like most of these, the weaknesses against cutting would be over here, but at least if it's rounded it would give off some kind of help in preventing that. Now, it would be great if these lock bodies were made out of hardened steel, or they had like a anti-cut insert inside of there, maybe welded in there, so cutting with the saw anyway would be tougher. So I'm going to just try and see if I can rake it. So we can at least see, can a novice picker get into this easily? Here's our city rake. Just, sorry, it's just... struggling a bit there so don't think you're gonna rock it open can pick it but you need some skill to pick this particular one anyway it's actually harder than that little abus discus I picked I actually find the abus discus with the pin tumblers easy because the it has spools and those spools really help you find the pins but against raking it might be a bit more tricky this one felt like it had serrated pins So yeah, those security pins do help with resisting um, resisting the old rakes, but it says it's anti-bump, so I want to just get the diamond, half diamond, see if we can zip it, zip it open. So should help to replicate anti-bump. So okay. Felt like you moved into a false set there, so that's good. Give it another ten of those. So tension. Okay, that was a good zip there, and when I zipped him, he went into a false set, so good. Give it another one. So tension. And he went into a false set. Which is good. That's anti-pick. Three. Attempt number three. Nothing. Attempt four. One, two, three, four. Nope, went into anti pick. So the zip alone is not enough. Let's try again. One, two, three.
and didn't didn't zip again. One, two, three. Nope. Anti pick again. No nope, anti pick. Well, didn't do anything anyways. Three more tries. Nope, anti pick. Nothing. One more. That was a good one, but still no luck, so I'll try one more thing. Zip and get the hook. Zipping is not enough on its own, you need to, you can get it with the hybrid, the mixed method. So, there we go, it's got its anti-pick resistance against novice pickers, but an intermediate or advanced picker probably will get through this. But picking in real life is probably very unlikely anyways. I'd be more concerned about bumping though, if we're talking non-destructive entry, but if we're not talking just non-destructive, I'm still guessing you're most likely going to come across an angle grinder, because this is naturally protected against twisting attacks and bolt cutters, so a very good lock, I'd use this for um, locking stuff up, no problem. Nice job ERA.